Colon cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer and more young people are getting diagnosed with it than ever before. Today is the 12th annual Get Your Rear in Gear race at Camp Maybury and joining us this morning is Dr. Kenneth Ellis, a gastroenterologist. I've been practicing saying this with gastroenterology. Perfect. Yes, Perfect. I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so first of all, let's talk about why are, are younger people being diagnosed with this? Well, historically, colon cancer has been a cancer that occurred primarily in patients above the age of 50. However, over the last five to seven years, there's been a fourfold increase in colon cancer in patients in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. Why it's occurring, we don't know exactly why, but there is strong evidence now to suggest that a complex relationship between colon cancer, obesity, lack of exercise, and a poor diet may be playing a bit, big role in this. So it's possible to reduce your colon cancer risk by maintaining a normal weight, eating right, and exercising. That's good to know. And when is it that people need to start getting those screenings? Uh, there are many societies that recommend when screening starts. Almost all societies recommend 50 years of age right now for an average risk individual, which is an individual without a family history and no symptoms. Mm -hmm. For African Americans, it's 45 because they have a higher incidence of colon cancer. However, the American Cancer Society about six months ago recommended age 45 for everyone because of this increased increase incidence in colon cancer and younger patients. Wow, and are there symptoms to look for? Is there any, uh, any idea? That's a problem. The most common symptom of colon cancer is no symptom, which is why when you start having symptoms and you present with colon cancer, it's often advanced and no longer curable. Wow. On the flip side, Colon cancer can cause any symptom, a change in bowel habits, constipation, diarrhea, bloating pain, blood in the stool, anemia. It, uh, it's, it's an unfortunate uh, fact that the most common symptom is no symptom. Gosh, that's scary. So definitely yeah. something to talk to your doctor about. Yes. Okay. Yes. And talk to me about this Get Your Rear in Gear. Uh, Get Your Rear in Gear is a 5K walk or run uh -huh. that's sponsored by Austin Gastroenterology to promote colon cancer screening and awareness in Central Texas. And the funds raised by this event are gonna be used to provide educational programs and screening for low-income Central Texans who might be at high risk for colon cancer through a partnership between Austin Gastroenterology and the People's Community Clinic of Austin. Okay, so it's, it's one of those things where we need to eat healthy, we need to exercise. Yeah, I, and you need to get your colonoscopy. Okay. See, the, the, I think that the, what most people don't realize is that a colonoscopy, although we do it to find colon cancer, is really done to prevent colon cancer. A colonoscopy is a colon cancer prevention test. Every colon cancer arises from a polyp. A polyp is an abnormal growth in the colon that increases in frequency as we age. And if that polyp is left there, it could mutate and grow into colon cancer. When we do a colonoscopy, we take out the polyps and we prevent the colon cancer. And the other, I think, problem people have about uh, getting colonoscopies is they think if they don't have a family history, they're not at risk. The fact is that only 20% of patients who present with colon cancer have a family history. The other 80% of patients do not. And kind of last thing really quickly, I, I know in my notes um, that, that it's kind of progressed over time. I think people get scared to get the colonoscopy because they don't want to have to drink that stuff and it's okay. a whole thing. That drink, there's an urban legend about the drink. It mm -hmm. used to be much more challenging. Okay. Now it's a thousand times easier. I wouldn't say easy, okay. but much easier. Okay, so that's okay. good to know. So everyone out there, go get, get it done. your colonoscopy, see your doctor. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. And if you want to learn more about colon cancer, just head to our website. We have a link on kv.com slash mentioned on air.